Good morning, it's Tuesday. So, I'm trying something a bit different here in that I'm like talking directly to the camera. Normally when I make videos to express something that's been on my mind, I talk purely through actions, but this time I'm trying using, you know, words. But yeah. I was thinking about why I use convoluted, abstract, scaffoldings of metaphors to express whatever I want to say instead of a more direct approach. Certainly I find it very hard to package what I want to say in a way that people can actually approach and engage with it. I was thinking about this because I recently went to see Lego Movie 2, which by the way is an amazing film that you should totally watch right now. On an abstract level, the Lego Movie 2 is about an adolescent boy and his struggle between who he is and who he feels he should be. But it's mostly told through scenes of Lego characters which are only alive in as much as the human characters in the film are imagining them to be alive, so each of their interactions has so much metaphorical weight and oh god it's just so good! But yeah, one problem with telling a story this way is that it can be easily misconstrued. Like, one friend of mine took away from the film that if they spent too much time on their own, they could become resentful and sort of evil, which isn't a great message for someone struggling to make friends. And the rest of us who'd watch the film all had slightly different takeaways. It's difficult to tell if there's a problem here, and if there is a problem, if there's a problem with us as an audience, or if it's with the film for not being clear enough. Like, maybe instead of this ambiguous approach, there's a more direct way that the LEGO Movie 2 could have conveyed whatever it was that it wanted to say. But stories can be so much more effective than directness. Like, seeing the two siblings fight, understanding why they fight, and then seeing them come to understand each other better is a much more effective way to give siblings something to aspire to than, say, mom telling you to get on. Ultimately, life is complex, and ideas can't be understood just from having them thrown at you through rules or simple messages, but stories can help people to understand ideas and make them their own. It's hard to tell a story in such a way that all the audience would understand it the same way, especially since each audience member brings their own thoughts and feelings to the story. Sometimes a creator might not even want to tell a story directly, like, even here, as I talk directly to the camera, I feel the need to use several layers of observation because some things are hard to grapple with directly. You can see more evidence of this in my previous thought videos and in my brain maze game, links in the doobly-doo, but the point is this. Although the direct expression of an idea may seem the most obvious route, sometimes ideas are too complex to be packaged up and sold as a headline and need a story attached to them to explore them properly and then maybe, just maybe, those ideas can be understood. I'll see you.